Soldiers matter, and it doesn't matter if they're people of faith or not. Um, we're here to take care of them. And what's very important about why we're here right now is the recognition, the Army's recognition of holistic health and fitness and the importance of the physical, the mental, sleep, rest, diet, and nutrition, but also the very important pillar of spiritual readiness. Arguably, it's the foundation of all other human functioning. So the Army, to its credit, has really uh, embraced the science. Uh, and we, so we have a lot of research that stands behind that validates that we're born spiritual. 30% innate, 70% socialized or environmental. So where you are, what you do, the people around you, they really are part of forming your spiritual core each and every day. So we're bringing this science and we're bringing this knowledge and education to our Army family, to both soldiers, leaders at all levels, and their family members. Um, I travel with my regimental sergeant major, and we've also brought our spouses with us to Germany's because families matter as well, and their spiritual life is of concern to us as well. So as leaders understand their responsibilities to develop the soldier spiritually, and then we have our great ministry teams, chaplains, religious affairs specialists, and our directors of religious education who are embedded in every place and all units um, as we carry that forward, as we really help our people to understand how important spiritual life is and how to properly develop it. I think we're gonna be a healthier, more ready, more fit army in the years to come. When we came through uh, the first time, it was still a pilot program, and therefore we were taking the opportunity to talk to the commands, uh, talk to the senior chaplains, so we could prepare the, um, prepare the way for what's going on right now. It's since then moved from a pilot to an initiative. So as we came out right now, uh, it's a spiritual readiness initiative where the command teams have it. The, we brought Dr. Miller out to present the science. The chaplain teams have it. Uh, they receive the science. Behavioral health was involved. Mental health was about involved. And so all of these agencies receive the science. You're saying, what's next? Next, we move from a spiritual readiness initiative to spiritual readiness training. In other words, the intent is to get it down in all the NCOS, to get it down in officer training, to get it on every level. That way every soldier realized that at the core of who they are, um, there's something spiritual there. Not saying that is a specific denomination or specific religion, but there's something uh, spiritual there. As they tap into that part of them, we believe that it will maximize them or optimize them as a soldier. Spiritual readiness, is that purpose behind who you are, what you're doing. It's that purpose behind how do you maximize who you are.